it is starting to seem like the more people hear from Governor Ron DeSantis, the less they like him. Republican primary polling averages show DeSantis trailing Trump by more than 30 percent, a gap that has only widened as voters continue to meet DeSantis on the campaign trail. Joining us now is Claire McCaskill, former Democratic senator of Missouri. Claire, thanks for joining me. There's literally no one I'd rather hear from in terms of assessing that ad that was shared by the DeSantis campaign. What do you make of it? And what does it tell you about what the campaign thinks of Republican primary voters? Well, the interesting thing here is he has to have and his team has to have some theory by which he takes votes from Donald Trump. And he thinks the way to do that is to out Trump Trump, uh, go even further, spew more hate and bigoted language. Um, and I got to tell you, the biggest problem that DeSantis has is in order to be a con man, you have to have showmanship. <laughs> now, we all know that Donald Trump is a con man. He is a huckster. He is somebody who thinks it's all about self-promotion and marketing and nothing about substance or policy. Ron DeSantis is no showman. He doesn't have the personality to be a showman. He is awkward. You know, frankly, he has the personality of kind of a dead frog. It, it is really not a guy that is going to light up a room or light up a hall or light up a rally with his showmanship. So how does he get votes away from Trump? I, I got news for him. He's not. The people that are with Trump now are not going anywhere. They're certainly not going to abandon him for somebody who is just kind of a wannabe of Donald Trump. Um, you know, and here's the other. Go ahead, Alex. I was go just going to say, I think you first of all, apologies to dead frogs everywhere. Um, and secondly, you know, it seems like what DeSantis cannot accomplish in terms of charm or wit or comedy or anything approaching warmth, he tries to make up with cruelty and meanness. It's like he's overcompensating for a lack of personality and per personable skills by just trying to be the meanest, most aggressive you know, shirtless warrior out there. I mean, not that he's shirtless, but the people in his ads are shirtless. And to me, that seems like such a bizarre calculation because it does miss something that is central to Trump, which is as abhorrent as a lot of Trump's policies may be, as much as he is a huckster, he is also a very talented and magnetic campaigner. And DeSantis seems to have completely shortchanged that part of you know, the Trump strategy, which is letting Trump be Trump may be repulsive to many people, but he also has a certain amount of basic magnetism for the people that love Donald Trump. 